This site is all too familiar along the Front Range. Smoky, hazy skies from our wildfires. Well, another result of our dry summer and our fall so far. Our drought has been hard on many Colorado farmers, some of which have also been dealing with changes due to this pandemic. Sean Chitness joins us live in Longmont tonight with more on the impact that the weather has really taken on our farm farmers all year. Karen, here at Yaya Orchard and Farm, they have felt it from season to season. Spring, summer, and now fall, each giving a new challenge for them to deal with. Then there's the pandemic itself, offering some unexpected setbacks. But that was also a reason for more people to come out here, enjoy the outdoors, and have a fun time. And that is what is keeping them motivated here, staying optimistic. And they are continuing to work hard month after month as we approach the end of 2020. Oh, I love being on the farm. It's so fun and the orchard's awesome. Um, I think it's that love that keeps me working here. What started as a small orchard rooted in a section of the farm that dates back to 1936 has transformed into a U-Pick destination with 1,000 trees. I've come to appreciate it through other people's eyes and what they grew up with and it just kind of really warms your heart. But creating that concept comes with its challenges. You can see those trees that are really stressed out. This spring, Sharon Purdue lost 99% of her crop to a snowstorm and temperatures staying in the teens. That's typical in Colorado. That's nothing different, but it's a little more, it feels a little more powerful this year. A huge setback in April, followed by more snow in the late summer, splitting trees. Now a dry and hot fall keeps adding to the work. If you have fruit trees, you really need to keep them watered. They will not survive this type of weather, even into the winter time. The pandemic took away school visits and hay rides, but gives people more of a longing to be outside. <laughs> and the help from other orchards plus leftover crop lets the store stay stocked up. There's some gratification to knowing that you're making a difference in people's lives. A year unlike any other doesn't take away from the mission. She's already looking ahead to 2021. I'm very optimistic that we're going to have a good spring. We're going to have a great crop next year. You always got to be thinking ahead. And losing that apple crop like they did here is actually not that unusual. It happens probably once every three springs, but the industry as a whole leans on each other. So if they lose the crop on this side of the state, hopefully they have it on the other side of the mountains. Of course, 2020 is unlike any other, and this year everybody lost their crop. Just one more reason why this has been such a tough time. Reporting live tonight in Longmont, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.